we are getting ready for the next asana class we'll start with sthita prarthana asana steady prayer pose stand tall both the palms at the center of the chest chin parallel to the ground elbows relax slowly close your eyes focus on your breath breathe normal we start with the prayer hum apne man ko hamesha santulit rakhna hai isi mein hi hamara aatma vikas samaya hai hum apne man ko hamesha संतुलित रखना है इसी में ही हमारा आत्म विकास समाया है आत्म विकास समाया है आत्म विकास समाया है हरिओम तत्सत जय गुरुदेव Good morning everybody namaste suprabhat good morning kristina good morning buenos dias buenos dias good morning okay or is the energy level as always high okay so always high so we to peer bhadrasan getting so stand tall start moving your shoulders <clears throat> are they around che other way around and relax take the hands up in there fold your knee elbows hold your elbows that's it gomukhasan variation bring the hand okay good release other side <clears throat> Face the side so they'll come to know what you're doing. Slowly bring the elbow center of the head. Perfect. Release. Other side. Good. Release. Now do the variation down Gomukhasan. Okay. Perfect. That's it. Okay. change good get the hold yes release and relax first in front okay just take the hands at shoulder <coughs> and stay there and just come on your toes now perfect stretch your hands this is very important part of virabhadrasana how you stretch your hands because the hand should be stretched out open your chest breathe normal slowly lower your hands and heels together down and relax 
One more round. Hand at shoulder, on your toes, feel the stretch. Slowly lower your hands and heels together down. And start flying. Cut. Slowly, slowly up, higher, higher. Good. And relax. Comfortable distance between your feet. Turn your head to the right. Now make sure complete twist. Ah, that's it. Your chin should be aligned with your shoulder. Take the little bit. Ah, that's better. Okay. So this is important part of your Bhadrasana. That how you turn your head. Come back to the center. Left. Center, right, center, left, center. Now drop your head to the right, center, left, center, right. Center, left, center. Rotate clockwise. Other way round. And relax. Okay. Hip rotations. Take your hands on your hip. Slowly rotate your hips. Other way round. Change. Other way round. <coughs> Good. Now take a comfortable distance. Take a distance. Comfortable. We are just going for the Veerbhadrasana stance. Okay, so turn the right toe out. Twist your right and just fold your right knee and lower your body down that's it no just keep the hand that's it perfect take a little bit more distance perfect knee should be aligned with your heel this will be the base for the veer bhadrasana series okay up toe in toe out slowly fold the knee in veer bhadrasana we are not twisting the upper body it will be straight but just to uh, this is the warm-up exercise up, toe in, toe out, one more round, right, that's it, good, back, change, release, relax, okay, now, Slowly, we'll do the flexing the toes. Lift your knee, okay? Flex your toe down and up and down and up. Do it sideways. Rotate clockwise. Other way around. Okay. Relax, good. Move it. Change and relax. Okay, other leg, go down, up, down, up, down, sideways. Good, clockwise, other way around. And relax. Okay, good. Other way around. And relax. Okay, ready for Ekpadasan series? Slowly lift your leg, place your toe on your opposite thigh, put your palms in Namaste. 
<coughs> be focused good slowly take your hands up in the air chin up now slowly twist your side the same side the leg is up tilt center slowly bring your hands down and change <coughs> throughout the practice your eyes are focused chin up breathe normal slowly take your hands up in the air to your side center and relax okay today we'll do vrukshasan with the padda okay so ardha padmasan standing then padda <clears throat> once you get the hold then take your arm up release out the side slowly perfect release and relax natrajasan slowly lift your leg fold take your arm up and push your leg away from the body be focus breathe normal <clears throat> release on the side Press in front. Slowly lift your leg. Hold your toe or ankle, and very slowly push your leg away from the body. Change. Other side. <coughs> standing virasan today we'll do virabhadrasan so important part of the warm up so slowly take your <coughs> stretch your arms up and as you start bending forward simultaneously the leg should come up in the air perfect point your toe out once your upper body is parallel to the ground release at the side as you start lowering your upper body your leg should come up feel the stretch it's a very powerful practice virasana slowly come back and relax the same thing can be practiced with the palms on the hip it is for the alignment so chin up very slowly bend forward 
and let the leg come up in the air. The alignment of the hip is very important. Excellent. Release. Other side. Perfect. Release. Relax. Okay. Garudasan, face this side only. Garudasan. Slowly lift your leg, lock it, and lock your palms. Change. Other side. in front excellent the way you take your hands up it gives you stability for the garudasan locking the legs change other side Slowly. Release and relax. Okay. Comfortable? <clears throat> Utkadasana, squatting pose, because for Veerbhadrasana, what is important? Your thighs. Okay. Utkatasan Ardha, perfect. Slowly take your arms up in the air. Feel the stretch. The pressure shouldn't come on the knee, it should come on the thigh. Accordingly, you have to adjust your upper body. Slowly, other side. And relax. Now we'll do the Utkatasana series, squatting pose, because <coughs> with the base of the Vyagir Bhadrasana is very important. So one foot distance, back straight, both the hands by side. Very slowly take the hand at shoulder on your toes and hold. Squat. Up. And slowly lower your hands down. Sideways. <clears throat> your core, your thighs is very important for Virbhadrasana. So slowly take your hands at shoulder, on your toes. Hold. Squat. Back. Okay, first in front, the variation in the Utkatasan, heels apart, toes out, on your toes, and hold, squat.
back. Hold and down. Namaste on your toes and down. Up. Okay, good. So the warm up for your Virbhadrasan, one round of Konasan, three. Okay, take a comfortable distance, two and a half feet, hands at shoulder. Take your arms out, right palm to the left toe. Touch the toe and just look up, that's it. Back, head to the left, stretch, look up. Look down at your palm, come back. Look in front and down. One round of Trikonasana, two variation. Then take a comfortable distance. Hands at shoulder, right to out. And slowly stretch your body to the right and go down to your right. That's it. Perfect. Excellent. The stretches is a warm up for your Virbhadrasana series. Come back. Two in. Out. Stretch your body and then slowly go to your side. Perfect. Up. And relax. Now get ready for Virbhadrasana. For Virbhadrasana series, the distance between your feet is very important. So it's the length of your leg, okay? Again, throughout the practice, weight is equally on both the toes. You are not leaning forward and the alignment of the hips. So we start with the base now. Take the hand at shoulder, right toe out, right knee down, right knee down. Now, yes, the knee and heel should be aligned and now look over your right palm. Perfect. Knee straight, keep looking there. Turn the toe in. Now look in front. Toe out. Knee down. And You're leaning forward, take the upper body in the center. Upper body in the center, two back. Take here a little bit, ah, now you look at, that's perfect. So that's very important, the weight is equally on both the toes, you're not leaning forward. Knee straight, toe in. Look in front, hands down, and relax. Take a comfortable distance, just relax. Veer Bhadrasana is a very powerful posture. That's why we did the warm-up exercises. We did Utkadasan series. We did Trikonasana and Konasana 3. Overall body should be ready for that. Now we'll focus on the alignment of the hip. So when we go into the position, the hip alignment is very important, okay? Take a comfortable distance. Hands at shoulder, right to out. Right knee down. Look over your right palm. Now focus on the left hip. Knee straight. Toe in. Toe out. Knee down. Knee 
knee straight, toe in, look in front and hands down. One more round. Now the focus is on the alignment of the hip. Ready? <clears throat> Take a comfortable distance. Hands at shoulder, right toe out, right knee down. Look over your right palm and focus on the left hip. Breathe normal, feel the stretch. Weight is equally on both the toes. This is very important part of the Veer Bhadrasan series. Knee straight, toe in, look in front, toe out, knee down, then look at your left palm and focus on the right hip, excellent. Weight is equally on both the legs, both the toes, feel the stretch, knee straight, toe in, look in front, hands down and relax, okay, comfortable? Filling on your thighs? Everywhere. everywhere. Each and every part of this, uh, uh, of your body work in the Veerabhadrasana. Ready? Now we do for the side variation, side stretch. Okay? Take a comfortable distance. <clears throat> Look in front. Okay? Take a comfortable distance. Second variation is for the side stretch. Hands at shoulder. Right to out. Right knee down, right palm on your back, right. Stretch your left hand and slowly, that's better. Excellent, good. Now, this says line is very important, okay? And you're not dropping your body, you're holding your body up in the air, focus on the alignment of the hip, chin up, breathe normal. Feel the stretch. Now slowly take the left hand down, right hand up, good, toe in, knee straight, toe in, toe out, knee down, left hand on the back, stretch your right hand with your head and slowly tilt, excellent. Now the focus on the alignment of the hip, perfect. Use your core, feel the stretch, the so one single line, excellent and you're not dropping it will if you drop the body this angle will be changed take the right hand down left hand up knee straight toe in and relax one more round if you're tired let me know okay then we'll do shavasana it's a very powerful portion virbhadrasana is a very very powerful portion so again same Hands at shoulder, right to out, right knee down, right hand on the back, right hand on the back, left hand with your head, slowly go to your side. Konasan two, feel the stretch one straight line. Chin up, use your core, okay? Left hand down, right hand at shoulder, knee in, Toe in, toe out, knee down, left hand on the back, stretch it and slowly go to your side. Perfect. Feel the stretch. Right hand down, left hand up, knee up, toe in and relax. Good. Now the third variation is a twist where we twist and hold the opposite knee first and then we'll do the namaskar back afterwards, okay? Take a comfortable distance. <clears throat> Hands at shoulder, right toe out, right knee down. Twist your right all the way with your left palm, hold your right knee. Right hand goes on the back. Excellent, now keep twisting. Good, that's better. Release, take the hand at shoulder, knee straight, toe in, toe out, twist your left with knee down, right palm on your left knee, left palm on the back and twist and twist. 
perfect release and the shoulder knee up to in and the lats now the next variation we do the namaste and we twist yeah okay take a comfortable distance hand the shoulder first right to out right knee down now place your palms together good namaste and twist excellent <clears throat> now here again when you this position start the posture starts once you lock the elbow on your knee keep twisting and keep moving up perfect that's better come up center with namaste stretch your hands and come back to the center knee straight toe in toe out knee down twist namaste right elbow on your left knee press it hard and then do keep twisting excellent breathe come up in the center with the namaste stretch your arms and center and hands down okay so if you face this side they will come to know the position exactly from how it will be okay <clears throat> comfortable distance right to out right knee down twist your right put your palms in namaste left elbow will go on your right knee press it that's important that yeah that's it so you're not doing shavasana there you keep lifting your body up and keep twisting excellent come back it namaste in the center stretch your arms unwind your ass knee up toe in toe out knee down twist namaste right elbow on your left knee press it hard and then keep twisting up perfect good come up into namaste stretch your hands at shoulder <coughs> unwind knee up toe in and uh, now the third one is lock the third twist yes okay shall take a comfort last variation then we'll sit okay i know she's tired <laughs> yeah so right to out we'll go very slowly so there is no confusion right to out right knee down right palm right shoulder right palm right shoulder right shoulder right knee now take the hand down left hand goes out and lock the fingers now the asana starts once you get the hold keep coming up excellent release your fingers take the hand at shoulder come back in the center knee up toe in toe out knee down left palm left shoulder left shoulder left knee arm out lock the fingers excellent keep twisting keep looking up come up perfect breathe release hand at shoulder to in knee straight down last round ready same thing so just do it very slowly hands at shoulder right to out right knee down right palm right shoulder right shoulder goes to the right knee right hand goes in left hand goes on the back get the hold of your fingers and keep coming up excellent release hands at shoulder knee straight toe in toe out knee down left palm left shoulder left shoulder left knee left hand goes out get the hold of the fingers and slowly come up excellent release your fingers take hands at the shoulder slowly knee straight and come back now you can sit 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 sit, sit. it's a very veer bhadrasan series is a very powerful it's a very powerful <coughs> just catch your breath 
after practicing Virbhadrasan tomorrow morning exactly you come to know what is happening always when you start any intense practices it is a 12 hours and 24 hours like if you something practice hard in the 8 o'clock in the morning 8 in the evening your body starts giving ah, 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 little bit stretches again if you don't do anything after 24 hours your body is absolutely locked so what is important if you do any intense practices just little bit of the stretches after 12 hours and after 24 hours okay very slowly okay we'll do one round of yoga mudra very slowly take the hands so you can catch your breath in this keep the hands on the back take a deep breath twist your right slowly go down and relax your body those who are comfortably touching the chin on the knee forehead on the knee they will try to touch the chin on the knee then they will try to touch the forehead on the ground and then chin on the ground. Inhaling, come up. Twist to your left. Stretch your body and slowly go down to your left. Slowly open your back and slowly go down. So those who are able to touch the forehead on the knee, try to touch your chin on the knee. If you are comfortably touching chin on the knee, try to touch your forehead on the ground and then chin on the ground. Come up in the center. <clears throat> Bend forward. Relax your body. And slowly come back. <clears throat> and relax. Take the legs in front and do Bhadrasan because after Veer Bhadrasan you get a nice pressure on the thighs so we do just some hip opening so it will take care of the soaring your body will not ache so bend forward very slowly perfect relax your body breathe normal just let the gravity pull you down. Slowly come back. And relax. Sit in Namaskarasana. Take a comfortable distance. Back should be straight in this. Now, if you want to make this practice intense, slowly take your arms up in the air in Parvatasana. On your toes, very slowly bend forward and stay parallel to the ground. Excellent. Slowly take the arms up, heels on the floor, bring your elbows together and press your elbows on your thighs. It opens up your hip. One more round, Parvatasana, on your toes, forward bend, good, stay there, heels on the floor, arms up, elbows together, bring your hands down and press your elbows on your toes, perfect. Release and relax. Okay. <clears throat> now we do <clears throat> sit sideways. So we'll do one round of Paschimottanasan. So stretch, you know, stretch your arms up. Turn the toes in and very slowly bend forward. Keep looking up. Excellent. Relax your body. Slowly take the arms up. Take the hands down. And slowly push your body up. And release. Okay. 
डू पर्यंक आसन दोज यू फाइंड इट डिफिकल्ट विथ बोथ द लेग दे विल डू विथ वन वन लेग यू जस्ट कम इन फ्रंट परफेक्ट सो यू आर सेट नॉट सेटिंग ऑन द हिल्स योर लेग्स आर गोइंग आउट एंड वेरी स्लोली वी गो डाउन टेकिंग सपोर्ट ऑफ द एल्बोज and we lie down on the abdomen hands both the palms on your abdomen again the paryangasana is excellent stretch you get it on your quadriceps it is good for your back so after practicing virabhadrasana the lot of pressure is coming on the thighs so it will release the pressure okay there won't be soreness on your thighs so it is a nice intense stretch in paryangasana release you can take the support of the elbows come up good relax now you can turn to the side lie down on the back <coughs> so your body is warmed up yes so what we'll do today paschimottanasan halasan okay So tuck your t-shirts in. <coughs> Five, ten. What do you say? Ten. <laughs> Madhyam marga always. We'll go for the ten rounds. Ready? So it is first we go into halasan, then we come back into pashim, and then halasan is one round. Okay? So start. Halasan. Come back into Pashim. Simultaneously lift your back. That's it. Pashim. Halasana. One. Come back into Pashim. Stretch your arms. Halasan. Two. Center. Pashim. Halasan. Three. Pashim. Halasan, four, Pashim. Halasan, five. Don't hit your heels on the Pashim. <laughs> Slowly, that's better. Okay, up. Halasan, six, Pashim. Halasan, seven. Pashim. Halasan. Eight. Pashim. Halasan. Nine. Pashim. Halasan. Ten. Come back and. Like that's on your back. Relax, okay. Give nice stretch, yeshti kasan. And relax. <coughs> Pavan Muktasan series. Slowly, wait. Just relax. Just relax. Okay. <laughs> Catch your breath. Now, slowly, feet together. Right leg. Squeeze it. Pavan Muktasan is a again very very effective relaxing posture after intense workouts. Practice Pashima. Pavan Muktasan series. Release. Left leg in. Squeeze it. Release. Now we'll do the side variation. Right leg. Right knee. Right shoulder. Squeeze it. 
release left knee left shoulder release cross right knee <coughs> left shoulder release left knee right shoulder release now put the legs in squeeze it lift your head try to touch your chin or forehead to the knee release and relax do supta bhadrasan supta bhadrasan okay <coughs> supta bhadrasan is again very comfortable posture those who are not comfortable in shavasan on the back with the legs straight very powerful posture keep practicing this when you are tired you just go into the supta bhadrasan this can be done with the help of wall where you can lift the toes and just lift the toes up yes and then you just hold it with the help of wall you can do it for longer time again it's a excellent hip opener now just stretch the legs down little bit toes down hold your toes good no cheating yes what is cheating this is cheating so yeah so that's it. just take the head towards the toe good release relax <coughs> okay fold the legs right hand on your abdomen just breathe normal pranayam number 4 it's a diaphragmatic breathing abdominal breathing it's a very important pranayam if you really want to improve your pranayam practice master this technique start breathing from your diaphragm you'll say we breathe from the diaphragm but we don't use the diaphragm in the fullest capacity so just lie down fold the legs your back is relaxed and just keep your palm on your nabhi chakra navel region and just breathe normal this to shall pass all is well one day at a time so there are a lot of auto suggestions when you practice pranayam number 4 okay nabhi chakre kaya vyohanyanam when we focus on the navel region we can attain the whole knowledge of the body make sure your chest is not moving only abdomen is moving up and down Get ready for shavasana. <clears throat> so today, what we'll do? First, we'll release the 
pressure tension from the body so we just contract the muscles and okay ready so first we start with the toes ankles and calves just squeeze them release now knees thighs hip groin squeeze it release press your lower back on the floor pull your abdomen in release your abdomen release your back relax now press your upper back on the floor press it release take both the shoulders at the ear close to the ear release squeeze your palms squeeze them hard open your palms wide and stretch your arms and relax now press your neck on the floor <coughs> release turn your head to the right center left center and relax squeeze your mouth eyes <laughs> release open your mouth wide eyes wide ah and relax 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 okay no tension in the body <clears throat> slowly move your fingers move your toes bring your feet together very slowly turn to your side very slowly taking support of your hands sarin sukhasan slowly open your eyes we end the session here hari om tat sat jay gurudev take care thank you very much